Now we can see here that this is like going all the time. It's going great guns, um, and we can do a little bit of like Trixie um, kind of uh, optimization here. And in our cook type, let's just move this to selective for right now. And that's going to make sure that we only update if this value changes. Okay. Now. There is a problem that exists here, which is that if our slider position is not in all the way in or all the way out, when I click on one of these, it's going to pop me into moving one way or the other. How can I fix that? Well, it turns out that I can uh, do a very tricky little thing, which is I can uh, reset my speed value here and I mean, before we do that we've got to see a little bit of kind of like um, tricksy stuff that we're going to do here in our slider I'm going to go ahead and use this panel like execute I'm going to make a copy of it I'm going to bring it right over here and drag my slider onto it and we're going to go ahead and get rid of this off to on business now we've got to do a few things here so I want to do one particular action when I click here and drag, right? When I click and drag, what I want to do is I want to make sure that on this, I turn on this reset value and then I set this value to be in a particular place. So, you know, it's tricksy, very, very tricksy. Um, so I want to do one particular thing when I click on this thing and move it. I want to do another thing when I release from this, uh, and I want something else to happen when this value changes. I know that's the, you know it's a lot of like rigmarole. Wah! That's okay. Let's just see what that all looks like as we go. All right. So we need to do a few things here. In our panel execute, we're going to have to turn on a few things. So slider one, great. I want to use select and you. Those are the two things that I want to be able to use here. I want to be able to do something when I'm in off to on, when I'm in on to off, and when I'm in value change. I want to be able to kind of run separate scripts every time one of those different things happens. Okay. Where to get started. Okay. Let's, let's start with our Let's start by looking at how we can move this reset value because that's, that is really handy, right? So we can see that on the speed, if I move that reset value, it changes my slider. But when I move my slider, I want it to update this speed. Okay, so in this case, if uh, in my value change here, if panel value, right, so the thing that's changing, if its name is you, because I only want to do this, right, when, when this you business changes. So if the panel value name is you, what I want to do is I want the operator that's speed one, and I want its parameter called reset, reset value to be equal to my panel value val. Okay, let's see if that works the way we expect it to. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's pushing this thing around the way that we hope that it might. Okay, well, and the next thing that I wanna do, right, is I wanna make sure that when I'm clicked on here that it turns on this reset business so it lets me actually change that value right that's gonna be important to me otherwise if this is on all the time I might be able to move this but as soon as I let go oh ooh, nice maybe we don't need that that's so oh yeah yeah oh, eh, oh yeah hmm hmm Oh, that's right. I've got some kind of like, I got a few situations here that uh, I need to address. So let's start with 
Um, where do we want to start? Let's let's keep going with our slider. So let's start with Octa on. So in this case, if the panel value, the name of the panel value is select, let's make sure that the operator Do, 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 do. That's chop exec one, which should be this one over here. This is like a little bit of safety business, right? What I want to do is I want to turn this off when I'm pushing this around so I don't have a bunch of like redundant messages. I could like really get myself into some hot water if I wasn't careful about that. So, what I'm going to do here first is when I go off to on, right? When I click on this thing, I want to make sure that that thing's parameter called active is off. That's pretty, that makes some good sense there. The other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that speed, that its parameter called reset is on. Okay. Let's grab those same things. And when I go from on to off, I just want to swap those things. So in this case, I want to make that chop execute active, and I want to turn that reset off. In fact, you know what? I don't even think I need to turn that reset off. I think we can just like leave that alone. Excellent. So this should mean that when I'm moving this thing, yep, we can see that this thing turns off. I move that thing around. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just what we want. That's so good. And we should see that then, oh, okay. All right, we're so close. We're very close now. So the next thing that I need to do here is when this goes off to on, I also want to make sure that my speed one parameter called reset is off. And I also want to do that same thing over here in my other button. And let's make sure indents match. Killer. I know this is a bunch of like rigmarole, but what this means is that we can move this thing in our deck and we should be able to see that we can move it down to the A side or we can move it up to the B side and we've kind of got all of that logic sorted out so that you know we can take advantage of all of the kinds of operations that we might want to do here. Whew. Okay, getting close, getting close. Let's remember this null here for a second. We're gonna go up one, we're gonna go up two. Let's split our view to save ourselves some hassle. We're going to go into our output. We're going to go into this top output. We're going to add a select chop. And what I want to grab is I want to grab this null. We can move this right on over here, make it viewer active, drag this right on down, and we can go ahead and just export that chop right from here. Okay, and if we move out, oh, we're so close. It's so, it's very exciting. And move out one more time and open up our panel, we should see that now we have automated this beautiful deck business. Oh my golly goodness. Whew. I hope that feels mighty fine. Feels like an accomplishment. We're doing great work.